Hello, this is uh, Sylvia Boboni, investment editor with the bank. And I'm talking to Jose Felix Magagna, who is um, treasurer of um, CABE. Um, Felix, we um, have been talking about um, the work that CABE has done in the past months. Um, and you were mentioning that uh, um, a wider range of investors has, have been interested in um, your issuances. Uh, could, you, um, could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yes, I, I believe this is, um, this is um, you know, this has to... Um, different sources one is the liquidity is is high in in every other market and the other one is the there's there's only a handful of uh, uh, a-rated supranationals out there and it's a good source of diversification and i think those 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 are the two main trends uh, why uh, you know a there's a renewed uh, or or a bigger interest in in, in issuers such as as, as ourselves um, and development banks um, and organizations such as yourselves also play a role in uh, developing the um, capital market infrastructure. Um, do you have any plans in helping the region, the Central America region, to uh, uh, get greater access to the capital markets and develop capital markets in places where the, the, the structure doesn't allow it to, um, to be at the moment? Sure. We've, we've been uh, working the last five, seven years in, in closely with uh, with the uh, local markets trying to promote, uh, you know, the the use of of these markets as a uh, as a as a as a real source of funds for uh, the government and corporates, and we've been, um, uh, you know, uh, in 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 that process we've been able to place trades that that has been one of their kind or the first times that that these trades gets done in the local markets. Uh, examples are we we've done a trades in 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 Honduras Lempiras in in Costa Rica and Colones. We are working in 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 a transaction in Guatemala and Quetzales, and we have also placed uh, securities in El Salvador, which is U.S. dollars. So um, you know, in that process, we've been able to uh, work closely and to help I I improve the internal processes for for. Um, local markets to be um, to to grow you know one of the things that uh, that has been prevented this growth is actually the access the capacity of access accessing those markets so um, you know we've been working in that now that that we you know kind of close the face of issuing this doesn't mean that we're not going to issue anymore this only means that this is something that we got done already we're going to we're going to help um, building we're, we're going to work closely with the with locals in 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 building up um in building up um um proper uh capital markets infrastructure to make it to make it um, interesting for not only for local investors but 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 also for investors abroad this is an, another another way uh, for you to attract uh, foreign investment and some of the new investors that you saw um, were saying earlier and came from from the release for the first time um, and the past months have been really busy of course uh, for the bank, both in, both in terms of issuances, sizes, and, uh, and new investors. But what are the plans for the next months? Do you think they're going to be as busy as uh, as the past 12 months? Well, I think um, I think we're going to be. Um, you know, now now 60% of our funding comes from capital markets, so uh, it's always going to be busy uh, in, in in terms of uh, capital markets issuances. I I my um, I I think we're going to resume. Uh, issuing from summer up in a year, so um, we, we always try to match up our cash flow needs uh, uh, to to better to be more efficient in the asset liability management. Thank you very much for comments.